NAM 2024, Chelsea here at the Vegatron booth with Soren Anderson. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you so much. Are you guys okay? Yes, doing, doing great, enjoying the NAM stuff. So you had a wonderful performance here at the Vegatron booth. So start off by telling me about your connection with this brand. I, um, I met this guy called Sifo and um, he was very polite and said, can I send you a system? Check it out, if you like it, let us know. So he sent me a system and I was like, whoa. It's very, um, it doesn't happen every day that you um, find gear, which is revolutionary. And I find it very, very, very refreshing with a, a tremolo that sounds better and work more like a Floyd Rose, but without locking uh, the locking block and the bridge and everything. And it fits, it fits a standard Princess tremolo. So easy, you just take it out and, and mount the other one by yourself and you're good to go. Yeah, man. It's definitely great when you find a little piece of gear because I think uh, you know when it comes to NAM, a lot of people think about you know the guitars and just the overall like instruments. But when it comes to the gear, there's so many little details that can totally change the way you sure. feel about your instrument, the way you perform. Yeah, you mean like a tiny little, like almost like a accessory, like a tremolo, have its own booth. Is that what you mean? I mean you can find booths and stuff here. Where they only have is transformers. That's all they have. Like a like a electronic component for a compressor or whatever. This booth is a tremolo. Um, and as you know, which I find very important, we are next to DiMaggio, we're next to Boss, we're next to uh, Bernie Ball, so this is the guitar department. That's why it makes sense for me to, to be here. And I, I love the product. I support it very much. So if that's answered your question, it did? Absolutely, yes. Okay. No, and I'd also like to talk about your music that you have right now. You performed for us just now some instrumental tracks and you recently released an instrumental album. So tell us what you have going on right now. I love that question. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I did a lot of work for TC Electronic over the years as a demonstrator at the booth right over there. And after, I think after five years, the product manager, he said to me, those songs, so you should record them and put them out. And I was like, Nobody wants to hear it, so he was like, I would love to hear it, so okay. So I did my best, recorded 10 songs, mixed it, mastered it, had some pretty cool friends like Chad Smith on one song, Marco Mendoza on three songs, Ida Nelson on one song, you know, Glenn Hughes on bass on one song. So just to, you know, create a bit of a vibe, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna put it out and see how it goes. And what happened? A lot of attention, a lot of shows, a lot of listeners and a lot of new followers. So I'm just trying to say, if you have a project in your heart, go for it. If you believe in it, people will believe it in it too. That's how it works. So, th so these songs are now a big part of me. And I want to do more of that instrumental stuff because a lot of people take it. So if you like it, I'm ready. I'm going to do one more album and maybe one more. Awesome, that'll be great to look forward to. You also mentioned the, the recording process as well. You do have your own studio, Medley Studios. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, uh, I always say this, this brain is the guitar brain and that brain is the producer brain. So, so I do a lot of recordings, a lot of productions for other bands and bigger artists. Uh, and I'm a co-owner of a really, really great, cool studio in Copenhagen. I did Glenn Hughes, Marco Mendoza, Mike Tram, Thunder Mother, um, Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons, Artillery, a lot of rock and roll, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. And of course, you mentioned Glenn Hughes and Mike Tramp. You're known for touring with both of them. So, just tell us what you have on the horizon right now for projects, touring, anything. Well, we're going out with Glenn a lot this year. Heavy tour, a big tour, America. Uh, stuff I can't tell you about yet, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna hit Europe, a big European tour. Uh, but in the fall, we have some interesting stuff in the pipeline. But I try to squeeze in my studio work, you know, when I'm off because I don't like to sit home. So it's either touring or recording, and it's been like that for 30 years. <laughs> so. well, keep it up. You're doing great work with it, and good luck with everything, and enjoy the rest of NAM. Thanks for the attention. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for your time. No worries.